I pray for you right now at the blast of this trumpet let that grace some of you by by November you will look at your life and it will be as if you are in 2027 because the Lord would have accelerated your destiny I am not motivating you I am telling you what the grace does in the name of Jesus be willing to receive yes sir receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed speed in ministry speed in business speed in your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ 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 no more delay no more stagnation no more delay no more stagnation no more delay no more retrogression go forward go forward supernaturally in the name of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus my god there's such an anointing here when god wants to help a man there are three ways that god helps that man number one he introduces you to his mercy number two he introduces you to the holy spirit number three he introduces you to the gift of man this is what you want to receive now when god causes men anointed by him to come to your life what song will you sing when he comes is turning things around is turning things around can you sing it one more time before i prophesy for your life The other part we will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord we will dance in the spirit and rejoice evermore from sunrise to sunset we'll shout praise the lord at the sound of the trumpet let the glory fill the grave loud shout hallelujah don't worry when we share the grace 
there's going to be 10 minutes of uncensored praise in this place uncensored praise in this place hallelujah if you can jump to the roof and come down and land well safe journey are we together we're still receiving this grace called favor this grace called favor yes sir this grace it is the name of a grace favor it's not what happens to you it's what you carry that can make certain things happen by the message of God I know what it means to be favored of God you can become a living expression of the favor of God Luke 2 52 and Jesus grew increase in wisdom in stature in favor with God and with men Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty ye shall not go empty I pray for you by the mercies of the God of heaven out of the abundance of that which his majesty has given I pray for you sound of revival UK 2024 receive this grace called favor receive this grace called favor receive this grace called favor let it speak in your destiny may men arise to help you favor showing you unusual kindness favor granting you unusual access in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah when the favor of God comes upon a life your life becomes an unending wonder you will cry and laugh and cry and laugh and cry and laugh and wonder what to do with yourself favor the number one reason people go forward is favor are we together the last impartation for tonight and we're done the power to prosper you know what the power to prosper is the power to prosper is beyond finances you've heard me say it it is true the power to prosper is not about money if you zoom your understanding of the power to prosper to just mean the power that makes you wealthy then you did not receive much the power to prosper is called the grace for advancement that is the grace that causes people to move forward regardless the obstacles are we together finances is just an expression of it there are many people who have money without the power to prosper the power to prosper demands that you do not fail it insists that you do not fail it turn things around quarter to shame until you win it's called the power to prosper i pray for you in the name that is above all names that grace that keeps moving men from glory to glory that keeps moving men like the brightness of the sun more and more until the perfect day by the mercies of God I pray that grace rests upon you now that grace rests upon you now that grace rests upon you now I decree and declare every door that has hitherto closed over your destiny you can hear me in the name that is above all names we command those doors open now we command those doors open now. Everything you once held that you've now lost, may it return back to your hands. May it return back to your life. May it return back to your destiny. Taken away by demonic manipulations, let it return back by mercy. Relationships return back access to grace is returned back your passion for the things of God returns back in the name of Jesus every dead or dying prayer life dead or dying prayer altar 
in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it jumps back to life now 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 I pray for your passion for the Word of God the law of the Lord is perfect reviving the soul this book of the law is able to make men wise and to lift them to bring good success I pray for you in the name of Jesus passion for the word like never before for the study of the word to listen to the word of God to speak the word of God and to obey the word of God I say it again to study the word of God to listen to the word of God to speak the word of God and to obey the word of God receive that grace in the name of Jesus my final prayer for you my final prayer for you everything that has stolen your passion for God includes your passion for the house of God includes your passion for spiritual things you just found out that you're growing more and more carnal wrong associations wrong places wrong things by the mercy of God I decree and declare whatever has quenched that light upon your candle let it be lit back right now may God give you the gift of hunger hunger for spiritual things hunger for his presence hunger for his power in Jesus name I pray now we're going to shout amen seven times as a final seal to every blessing every miracle every healing every deliverance are you ready now when I count one you will shout at the seventh time we'll rejoice with the blast of the trumpet and then we'll do a bit of housekeeping and we're done are you ready now UK number one number two number three four five six are you ready now seven give jesus a shout of praise 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 for miracles, for signs, for wonders, for salvation. Thank you, Jesus. hallelujah what's the one thing holding you back from living the life god has called you to i bet it's fear fear that whispers you're not enough you can't do it you'll fail but what if i told you god never intended for you to live in fear in fact he has given you everything you need to overcome it today we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that god has already placed inside of you and it all starts with one thing faith let's dive in fear is something we all face it can be paralyzing overwhelming and even make us doubt god's promises but here's what we need to understand fear is not from god second timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. 
In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me. Give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's Word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily. Remind yourself of God's truth, and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things. It's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number 3. Take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together. Thank you for staying to the end of this message.